Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I didn't get out this morning, so it is the afternoon in Southwest Florida in October, but still it is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 29 degrees Celsius. So it's a, it's a warm day here, which is great. A little bit of wind, uh, which is nice. But what I want to do is share with you some of, uh, some of the blooms that are coming out on my orchids. Uh, behind me, and I've showed you this many times before, is a Dendrobium wulang that just keeps on growing, keeps on flowering, uh, and it's just doing really nicely, which is what it always does here. Um, I wanna move all, these are the orchids that I wanna share with you. I do have others that are in my collection that are blooming, but I want to, I want to highlight these because um, the story behind them is, is interesting and, and personal to me and I want to share that with you. So this is this is just a standard um, Oncidium. Um, it, you know, dancing lady, I think. There is uh, not much to it. And the, the reason that I'm showing this is because the, the flower spike should be, and it was, about, you know, this high on this plant. It was a lot higher. Um, this dropped from Hurricane Ian, it cracked off, and I think, I think what happened as a result of that is the, uh, the flowers, the, its spike is much smaller, of course, because half of it got knocked off, but the flowers themselves uh, seem to be a little bit bigger. Um, I have some of my other oncidiums <laughs> that are in spike but not open yet, so Sherry Baby that, that blooms a lot of times during the year, uh, it's open, then I, or it's, it's got a flower spike but the, the flowers are not open yet, and then I have another oncidium, uh, a new one that hasn't flowered yet uh, that's, that's in spike, and I'll share that with you when the flower opens up. So first thing is my oncidium. Let me put this guy back and then move to another one that is a first bloom for me. And so this is um, Chocoberry Fondue. And this is a uh, Fred Clark hybrid. And this is again my first bloom on this plant. Uh, it's a little darker than, <laughs> it's Choco Berry, so you know, you're thinking, okay, Choco Berry, it should be, uh, it should be dark and and it and berry and it is so it's a um, as you can tell it's just a really dark uh, dark purple but it's a really nice vigorous plant which is what you get uh, from from Fred Clark again you can see I hope uh, the label on this so this is from Sunset Valley Orchids and uh, this is one of one of Fred's I can I don't even need to bring it close to me um, the fragrance is just really nice on this. It is, um, it's, there's a little bit of, um, it, it's mostly just very floral, um, but there's a little bit of herbal uh, fragrance to it as well. The flower itself, I think is, um, it's just really nice. I like my Cattleyas with a little bit more uh, color in, you know, in the throat. Uh, but still, this is a this is a beautiful plant. This plant, the flowers on these opened um, maybe around two or three days ago. So I think that over time, I'll even get a little bit more fragrance uh, with this plant. I want to show you one other thing, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is kind of indicative of the stuff that I get from Fred. But look at that! Look at the root growth coming out of this thing. And so I would imagine that what's going to happen with this is these are just going to grow down the side of the pot. This is in a, a pretty small pot right now for this. I think this will just get way bigger. I've seen plants uh, of this that are just that they can be huge. Even though it's a new hybrid uh, from Fred, the, the plants can get big and the number of flowers can also uh, be a lot higher. But it's just starting. I can't, I can't wait to see how much more fragrance I get out of this thing as the plant grows. So anyway, uh, again, uh, Chocoberry Fondue from uh, Sunset Valley Orchids. Just a really 
a really nice plant. And, and I've had this for maybe, this was a seedling, um, but I've had it for maybe a couple of years and this is my first bloom. So let me put this guy back and then move on to another one. This is, and I think I've shown you this previously. So this is just, this is a nice, um, this is a nice Cattleya. It's fairly large flower. And this is Ports of Paradise Emerald Isle. These are really common. And I had a really large plant of this. And what happened is I had a large plant. It was in not the right potting mix. And what happened is the potting mix started to rot and the plant started to rot. So I had to divide this. So I've got, I think I have about five or six of, six of these. And they ended up being small plants because the and they just fell apart because the uh, the plant was rotted so i see a new growth coming out here the roots are doing very nicely on this plant um the reason i'm showing it to you is because this plant started blooming or uh, the bloom opened on this plant maybe close to three weeks ago i'm not sure if it's a little more or a little less than uh, i think it's i think it's around three weeks ago that's when this opened and it's, it's still fragrant so I think I probably have about another, um, you know, another maybe week or two of open flower and nice fragrance on this really nice uh, Cattleya. So I'm pretty happy with this. The other reason I show it is because I have one of the other uh, divisions from this plant that is also in spike. And I would imagine that those are going to open, those flowers are going to open maybe in another week. Um, and this is what happens with orchids. Orchids, even though they're separated, they can tell time. They, they know day length. They, most of the similar orchids bloom at the same time of the year every year. And the one that's the, it's essentially a clone or a division of this, this is going to be putting out um, bloom. It's going to be, the bloom's going to be opening fairly soon as well. Um, just, a, just a nice uh, plant that has always done done well for me so I'm pretty happy with this okay moving on a little bit I have this which is very common so this is uh, my Kai which is a, a Brassavola Cattleya hybrid and cross and what you th this is this is um, kind of a personal plant for me because this was a gift uh, it was from Anne Marie, so thank you, Anne Marie, for this gift. And what happens on my, and these are really common, and these guys get huge. And I have a large number of these as well. She gave me a large cluster, and I kind of broke it up and put it in pots, but they're, it, it doubled in size, and it's going to keep on going, and they get, they get pretty big. The reason I'm showing this is the flowers, you can see the flowers in here, they're kind of, they're not huge, they're a little bit dainty. Um, but there used to be twice as many flowers here. So what happened to the flowers? Well, I've been, because there's so many flowers and because I'm a hybridizer, I've been making crosses. And so this is a, now there's one, so I made four, four, sorry, four, I don't know how to count. I made four crosses um, onto these on four different flowers. Uh, three of them have already, there's, well, two of them have fallen off. There's one here that is going to fall off that has the yellow, uh, yellow on the, the base of the flower right here. But then I have this one right here. And this I, I crossed with a big red flowering Cattleya. And so this will be interesting if this, if this capsule um, makes it. It was, only, it was only pollinated about three weeks ago. So it's a long journey before this thing um, is ready to go. But if this thing makes it, it'll be really interesting. It turns out my Kai, uh, when you take a look at the, uh, the progeny of this, it's a really successful and a really good parent. So what I'm hoping, and it is a, is a Cattleya um, Brassavola hybrid. So what I'm hoping is that I'll get something really interesting out of, out of this. What you end up with, with a lot of the uh, Maikai crosses, is you end up with a really large, um, you know, a really large uh, part uh, at the base here. Um, and it, the, the lip 
is just really big and then it'll probably be intermediate size between what I used between this and the other parent that I use which I'm okay with but bright red with flaring so it's just going to be an if, if this works and it might not work it may fall off this is going to be a really nice cross okay so this is my Kai um, again a, just a really nice plant that I'm this and this is I've used this for crosses in the past and haven't been successful but I think this one um, cross that I made I think it's going to be successful another one right here this is one of my favorites both for flower and for fragrance wonderful wonderful this is and this is a really this is a catacetum and this is a really common catacetum. It's, again, from uh, Sunset Valley Orchids. Uh, it's not where I bought it because everyone sells. Uh, this is after dark black pearl. And th these are all male flowers, so they're all very showy. And this is a wonderful plant. This has bloomed for me really consistently. Um, so it's, it's deciduous, so all the leaves are gone. I have a few other, I have another, uh, uh, another division of this plant that's just putting on a flower spike that hasn't bloomed yet, but it will soon. But this is a real consistent bloomer, a great performer. Um, and so if you, and, and the, the flowers are nice, the fragrance is nice. So if you haven't tried growing uh, catacetums, this is just a really nice one uh, to try. And there's some really interesting things about it, but what happens is it puts out the big broad leaves uh, and then it, uh, the, the leaves fall off and then you get flower spikes. I do have another catacetum where it has all the leaves right now, not this plant. Uh, and it's also got, so it's got like four flower spikes coming out on it. So it's going to be loaded. I've had this plant for a number of years and I've made some divisions on it. And this is just a good, uh, consistent performer. So Fred Clark is the originator of this. And this is called uh, After Dark Black Pearl. All right. And, and again, just nicely, nicely fragrant. So I'm really happy with that. All right. So... I just wanted to share um, some of my blooms with you today. I have more. I'll make some more videos as I go and as I get more blooms that open up. But I just wanted to share uh, a few plants that, and tell you a little bit of the history uh, behind them. So uh, that's all I have for today. If you like my videos and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you could click on uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. So once again... That's it for today. Happy propagating.